What's going on guys, it's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to color grade your drone footage and make it look a whole lot better, getting the color grading kind of effect from Sam Colder, of course everyone knows him. And the one on the left of course is the after and the one on the right is the before. And it looks more teal and kind of orange, bringing out those blues, those reds. And kind of making the video more vibrant and more colorful. So this is an excellent way to boost and make your video more kind of interesting and make it pop out a little bit more than just kind of having it flat just like that as you can see there and it doesn't even have to be drone footage it can be anything. Now before I begin I do want to say something and that is a huge freaking thank you for helping me reach 150,000 subscribers guys that is unbelievable. Seriously guys like I could have not done any of this without you guys these tutorials would not exist without your guys' support and feedback which is amazing. Be sure to leave a like and a freaking comment down below. I do read every single comment you guys post so just keep that in mind. What I'm going to go ahead and do is this is the effect right here I did. I did use a transition the uh, motion VFX transition I applied to the clips. So this is the after that we got after applying the teal and orange effects as well as the letterbox. You don't have to add a letterbox of course but I do because it makes it more it makes it look more cinematic but um, it still looks really good with even without but this is the before and after you can see a huge difference so I did the same thing for this video as well uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the before and after so this is the before look how flat it looks and this is the after with the color correction and the teal and orange so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one because we don't need that one we'll get the letterbox even though we don't really need it but this is the original raw video that I got from um, I believe his link will be in the description it's like lost lonely lost island or something like that his videos are absolutely amazing guys I suggest you guys watch his videos or more of his vlogs they're really cool I just got a really a really small bit of it just to show you guys how to color color grade it and look a little bit better so what you're gonna go ahead and do is go onto the effects right here and go to the effects browser go down and go to the looks I believe or I think it's in looks yeah and then you're gonna see here the teal and orange but right now it looks very very saturated and very vibrant but we're gonna go ahead and tweak that a little bit so it's not too harsh go ahead and just click and drag that onto your video clip and go ahead and kind of hide the effects browser go into your timeline and you're gonna have this right here okay so with that you know enabled or clicked now you can increase it but that will bring out a lot of greens and we don't really want that we're gonna go ahead and just lower this down a little bit but not too much maybe I think it's at 50 I'm gonna just lower it to 40 kind of 43 and then the protect highlights this will allow you to protect the highlights so they don't get lost so as you can see it kind of makes it it kind of changes it to orange but if you increase it I kind of gets rid of it like if you look in the sand area right here it makes it look more like that color but if we don't have that enabled or checked it makes it look a little bit more orange kind of like a warmer tone so maybe you want this maybe you don't in this case I don't so I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off so I'm gonna just put it to 100 to protect the highlights as well as the roofs here as you can see that it makes it look way different it makes it look kind of like almost orange so I'm gonna take that one off the protect skin this will also help you kind of avoid the red and orange areas which is kind of like the roofs of these house if you really look kind of close they start to change as you can see that in the boats however in this case that looks pretty good with this but you can take it off if you want if it's too harsh of a color you can bring that down maybe about 50 would be good the shadows this is the kind of like the key to making that effect you want to go ahead and either lower it if you want or increase it in this case I'm gonna bring it all the way down this makes it so the colors pop out and so they're not faded so they don't look weird so this is the before and the after and that looks pretty good already now if we add the letterbox of course it looks more cinematic uh, now another cool little tweak that we can add is a color correction so we're gonna go ahead and apply the same effects that we did in in this clip we're gonna go ahead and press command C to copy those effects and paste it onto this one so I'm going to go ahead and delete these effects here and show you guys. So I already added the same effects that I applied to this one. So they remain the same throughout the video. That's pretty much what you want. And the only problem is that it's not looking the way I want it. Or maybe it's just not how, maybe there's more blues that I want. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go on to the effects again, not in the transitions, the effects and add a color correction. Now I know there's a shortcut to adding a color correction. 
I don't remember it, so guys, please help me in the comments. Tell me what the shortcut for the color correction is. But here is the color correction, and we go to the color board, and we're gonna go ahead and kind of bring this down and kind of make, kind of like make a little triangle, okay? This will kind of, the middle one right here, the midtones will increase the blues because it's around an ocean. And if the climate is warm or cold, if it's cold, you want to aim for blues. If it's warm, aim for more warmer colors. I never change the global because that will change everything in the shadows, midtones, and highlights. I just bring this one down to bring up the oranges in the, in the trees right there and bringing this up a little bit. And if we go to the saturation, in this case, we're going to do the opposite for the exposure, but we're going to go to the saturation and we're going to bring this down. That way it's not too harsh like that, so it's not too in your face. So we're going to bring that down and that kind of makes it look a little nicer so it's not too too bright in your in your eyes, okay? Now the midtones, we're going to go ahead and either increase that or decrease it. In this case, we're going to increase it, which is bringing out the midtones and the highlights, we can take that down or bring it up. In this case, I'm going to bring it down. So around like 15 would be good. And if we go to the exposure, this is what we're going to change. We're going to bring this either up or down. If you bring the shadows down, this will darken your image, of course. So in this case, I'm not going to touch that. The midtones I am, I'm going to go ahead and bring that down just a tad. And I'm going to bring up the highlights. So just like that, just to kind of give it some, some life. So now we have this going on. It's not too dark or too bright. And I'll show you guys the before and the after. So this is with just the teal and orange. And this is with the color correction. So you can see that there's more blues in the midtones. That looks pretty good in my opinion. It really just depends what you're trying to aim for. So if you guys really want to see a, a really before and after, actually this is a really cool little simple effect that you guys can do to your videos if you guys want to do a before and after. So it has to be the same video clip though. Or you can of course crop it out and match it with another video and make a new compound clip. That works too. But we're going to go ahead and go onto the masks. So just type in mask. Click on the draw mask and drag that on your clip. From here, we're going to go ahead and start on the front. But first, let me go ahead and zoom out to 25%. I'm going to go ahead and click on the middle. You can hold shift as well to keep it proportional. And I'm going to click on the left side if you want it to start on the left and go to the right. So now we're going to go ahead and go back and make this to fit. From here, what you want to go ahead and do, whoops, is you want to go ahead and click on your video. Go to the draw mask in the inspector window. And you're going to have the control points. Go ahead and click this little plus icon to add a keyframe. Go to the end of that clip and go one keyframe to the left. Before you do this, also, you want to go ahead and copy this video. So press Command C and Command V. And just go ahead and paste that either on top or in the bottom. In this case, we're going to move it to the bottom. So the one with the mask is going to be on top. And then the one on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and take off these. So we can see the before and after. Make sure you move this to the left, by the way. So like that. And then to the end, keyframe to the left, and then drag this all the way to the right. So now if we were to go ahead and render this out and we go to render all, we're going to have this really cool effect right here. So now if I push play, this is the effect we have. So it shows you a before and after. This is a super cool effect that you guys can apply to your videos if you're trying to spice it up just a little bit. This is, of course, a before and after of what you guys can achieve to make your videos or your drone footage even look a little bit more interesting and more cinematic if you guys want. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please drop that like button. That'd be freaking awesome. And uh, be sure to comment down what you guys want to see next on my next video. That'd be awesome as well. And uh, I'll catch you guys on my next video. So until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.